In this video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to delete the old Power BI app and install the new app. Now, please take note that this app is only for customers that are on BC 16 or plus. This, this is the latest platform update. If you install this app and you're still on the old platform, the app will not work with the old platform. So just please wait patiently for the platform update uh, before you go installing this new app. So from within your Power BI, you just need to log in. This must be done from a web browser. Um, so log in on a web browser. The first thing I need you to do is where it says new look on, just please just tick on enabled because the old style system, you do this slightly differently. So within Power BI, they also have a platform update and just make sure you've got new look on selected. It just gives you more Power BI features. So to start with, we're going to uh, start by deleting the old app. So on the left hand side, your menu may look like this. You need to select the apps button here. And then you should just have the one app installed, but if you've got several apps installed from Garage Hive, then I suggest that you just go ahead and delete them all because you don't need any of them now. So to delete an app, you scroll your mouse over the app and just hit the uh, delete button here and go ahead and delete. You then need to delete the workspace associated with that app. So on the left hand side, you want to go to workspaces. Again, if you want to expand the menu, it might make it easier. Go to workspaces. And then you're looking for one that says Garage Hive Power BI app or any variations in the uh, Power BI app. Depends how many workspaces you've created, which depends on how many times you've reinstalled the app. So to delete the workspace, you hover over it, select these three dots, workspace settings, and then you simply select delete workspace. Now that's the workspace gone and the application gone. Now it's time to copy the URL of the new app into your web browser. So do this from within the same window. Um, this link will be available either in the Facebook post or on the documentation or just ask a, a member of support for the latest version of the app. And you go ahead and you simply paste it into the web browser address and press enter. It's going to load and then it's going to ask you if you want to install the app. Um, and in this case we do. So just select install. We want to install to a new workspace. Now it might automatically give it a name. If not, just call the workspace Garage Hive or Garage Hive app or whatever you want to call it and select install. So this could take a couple of minutes. Um, so it's going to install the app. And what we'll see down here, you see it will also make a new workspace as soon as the app's installed here. So we're just going to wait a minute or two. Okay, so the app has been installed. You see it says your new app is ready. Garage Hive has been successfully installed. And if we take a look at the workspaces, we now have a new workspace as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the app from within apps here. And in actual fact, the first thing I want you to do is to bookmark it. So just press the star here and that's going to save the app as a favorite. And then go ahead and click on the app itself. So your first thing you need to do is now connect your data. So select connect. And now you need to go to your Garage Hive system. Once you are in your Garage Hive system, I need you to use the search function in the top right hand corner. And I want you to search for Power BI Setup. And you have this window here, which has your tenant ID, your company name, and your instance ID. If you go back to the app, you'll see that it's asking you for the company name the instance ID and the tenant ID. Now this is really important. You must copy and paste. Don't type it manually, just highlight the text, right click, copy. And then you see this is tenant ID, go back to the app and then paste this into the tenant ID. Now in this demonstration, it is the same company for me so I don't actually need to change these details but you will need to change these details. From this point, you go next, Once you're on the next page, you need to select the authentication method as basic. And then you need to log in with your username and password that you use to log in to Garage Hive. This isn't your Power BI login. This is the exact same username and the same password that you use to access the Garage Hive system. 
Once you've typed your username and password into here and selected sign in, the data will then start to refresh. At the top of the screen, you'll see the data is refreshing. Once, it's, once the refresh is completed, um, the app will then be ready for you to analyze. And just a quick tip as well, in the new version of Power BI, to refresh, to force a refresh of the data, you can select these three dots here and click on see related content. And then from here, there'll be a refresh cycle here and you can just press the refresh button and that's going to then refresh your data for you. So if you've got any questions, then just please let me know either in the Facebook uh, community or just message me directly um, or give a member of support a call. Thank you.